Welcome to the prayer channel. Were you once on fire for the Lord, full of passion and fervor? Has your passion waned? Or are you someone who desires for their faith levels to rise to new levels? The good news is that today we're praying about the restoration of our faith. We're reading Philippians 3 verses 7 to 10, where the Apostle Paul explains to us about how he has faith in the Lord, not through himself, but through his understanding of who God is. It reads, But what things were gained to me, these I've counted loss for Christ. Yet indeed I also count all things loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ, and be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. Lord, today we pray for a restoration of our faith. Lord, we pray, Lord, that our faith would be pleasing in your sight. Lord, that the levels of our faith, Lord, would be pleasing in your sight. Lord, we're asking that you would come in to our hearts into our minds, into our souls. And you would fill us again, revive us, pour into us, Lord, new levels of faith in who you are. Lord, where we're living in a world which is contrary to your word, Lord, which is in competition with your word, Lord. We just thank you that we are choosing you over the world. We're choosing you over everything that seems to be glitzy and shiny and exciting. And just as the Apostle Paul did here, Lord, where he says that he basically renounces everything he's gained, Lord, to understand that actually he can only gain in you, Christ. Lord, we understand that the Apostle Paul was of good birth, Lord, and he had a great education. And in fact, he was very highly regarded, Lord among his people, Lord, as somebody who knew the word inside out. Lord, he was of good status. But Lord, he says here that he counts everything rubbish, everything that he'd attained or gained in the natural, in the physical world, Lord, he says he counts it rubbish, that actually that he would gain you. Everything else falls into nothingness in comparison, Lord to what he finds in you. And Lord, the same for us, Lord, we pray, Lord, that our lives would fall into order. Lord, that we would have a faith that rests on who we are in you and not a faith on what we can do in our own strength. Lord, where we have veered off, Lord, where we've been focused on other tasks, on other things, Lord, that have captured our attention, captured our minds, captured our emotions Lord so that we're not giving you the best I pray that today Lord you would reveal and highlight to us Lord where we have given our lives over to idols Lord where we have fallen short Lord where we have chosen to follow the gods of this age Lord the media immorality Lord money, Lord, all the things, politics and fame and glory, all the things that seem to entice people, Lord, over you and your word, Lord. We just pray, Lord, that today you'd help us to lay down every idol, every disparity of our behavior, Lord, everything where we're not operating as we should, Lord, everything where we're looking at things with disproportionate lenses, Lord, to who we should be looking at in seeing you. Lord, we should be looking through lenses that show us you all the time, not lenses that are preoccupied and filled up with the world. Lord, help us, help us, Lord, help us. Lord, help us to see through, see with spiritual eyes, discerning eyes. So Lord, that we're not captured by the Prince of Darkness, Lord, and his ploys but instead we see your light. Thank you, Lord, that you're calling us today, Lord, to lay down the things that we thought were important so that we can gain you, Christ.
Christ, we can gain everything that comes from knowing you, Christ. And Lord, that not only would we gain you, Lord, but we would be found and we'd be hidden in you. Lord, would you hide us in your arms? Lord, would our entire being, our all our desires, Lord, line up with you? Lord, would we have faith in you, faith to move a mountain, faith in you, Lord, to believe for the best, to believe that you are God in heaven and you give good gifts to your children and you change our lives and our situations if we can surrender and give ourselves over to you. Lord, thank you that it's not about our own goodness or trying to be good or trying to be righteous, Lord, which is from the Lord, but instead it's our faith in Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord, it's our faith in you and the righteousness which is from God by faith. Lord, that righteousness only comes by our faith in you, by knowing that you are God in heaven, that you're on the throne, Lord, and that we need to have full faith in you. And as a result of doing that, Lord, you will impart unto us your godly righteousness, not our own picture of what righteousness is, but Lord, your godly righteousness. Thank you, Lord, that you are helping us today. Thank you, Lord, that we are coming before you honest and open and say, Lord, Lord, we need more. We need more. Lord, we're, our faith has been okay, but Lord, we know we, there are higher heights to climb to. Or Lord, you know, we used to be on fire for you, but actually over the years, we got distracted with other stuff and idols and things that just looked interesting, Lord, that have just captured our days and our hours and our moments. Lord, free us from every bondage. Free us from every bondage, Lord. May we gain you, Christ, and may we be found in you. And Lord, as we pray and think about the things in our lives, Lord, that need to come into submission to you over the next few minutes, Lord, bring to our remembrance everything, Lord, that needs to be fixed and rectified and surrendered into you, Lord. Lord, we come humble. We come with arms open wide, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, that you are giving us the faith that we need, Lord, to really gain Christ. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen.